So let me just walk you through how I use MATLAB typically. Um, I've shrunk down the window quite a bit, so there's not a lot of real estate f here for me to deal with, but um, it'll give me, you know, I can give you a general idea of how I how I do this and walk you through some of the steps. So um, this is the basic opening window. The uh, Right here is the command window. All the work gets done here. You know, if I type A equals 5, I just can all be done in this command window. I can type help plot and um, this will show me a lot of stuff. This would be um, easier to to read in a in a larger window but you get the general idea. So a, a simple way to get help is to just type help and a command name at the command line and this tells me how to use the plot command. It shows me all the little symbols I can use for markers. I've been using a little O in single quotes to get circles, but you can get X's or pluses or stars or whatever just using all these commands. I can change the lines to be dotted or dashed or whatever, and I can change the color of lines. Um, if you look down here at the bottom uh, under C also, there's, for example, X label and Y label. Those commands are used to change the the X or Y labels on a plot. I can give it a title. I can add a legend. Um, I can deal with the axes, both where they are and um, and um, what the limits are on the X and Y axis and things like that. I can do log and semi-log uh, plots, log log. Um, things like that, scatter plots. So there's lots of flexibility in the plot command and this documents it some. If you go to um, help here and MATLAB help, it'll give you a more browser-based uh, searchable help tool that in some cases is a lot more useful than this command line help. So now let me go back to this default window. So um, up here you see a directory window and this shows all the files in the directory. I should mention by the way that I changed my working directory. By default um, your working directory is the work directory w under your MATLAB installation. Um, and it looks for files there. And I changed this to my desktop by clicking on this little button with three dots on it and changing the path okay so if you want to change the path and have it run files from different directories just click this dot so this lists the all the files on my desktop actually because that's what um, that's what my path is set to and I can also go here and look at my workspace uh, notice remember I defined a to be five and these are some other commands left over from from um, a, an earlier run. Uh, one thing that's kind of nice is I can set up a matrix, say um, I guess we were doing M1 equals um, ones of five, for example. It sets up a five by five matrix of ones. Notice how here it's in the workspace it shows M1 to be a five by five matrix of double precision variables. If I double click this right here takes a little while but it'll show me that matrix in a kind of a spreadsheet form and I can go in here for example and um, actually edit this so I could change that element to a 2 and if I go back get rid of this get back to the command window type M1 Notice it how it has that two there. So sometimes that's kind of handy also. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of this workspace and the current directory. And this is the command history here. So the other thing it does is retains commands that I've um, created. I can click on those uh, commands from the history. I can. Um, if I hold down control, I can highlight a bunch of them. And one nice thing is I can right click these and say create M file. And it'll open up the editor with those commands in the in an M file. Okay. So remember I said earlier that um, sometimes I use MATLAB interactively. What I'll do is just 
play around with a command and once I get it working the way I want it then I'll highlight the the commands I that worked in this right click create an M file and then that's the beginning of my script that I'll um, work from from then on okay uh, if I want to return the desktop layout to the way I had it uh, I can go desktop desktop layout and default for example and it'll bring up that or I can go to only the command window or things like that okay so you have some options for getting back to the way it was or trying other approaches okay um, I can look at a directory say of, of M files and here's my um, lesson four script if I type the, the name of that script it'll execute it okay including giving me this plot All right so let's look at that script I can say open from the M file editor click on lesson 4.m and it'll show me that script so I have all these commands here and um, what it did when I typed the name of that script into MATLAB was it executed all these commands one by one. And and you saw some of it just scrolled off the board. Uh, one thing to notice is that this editor is a um, tabbed editor and the tabs are at the bottom. So I can uh, click back and forth from one file to another and open a bunch of files at once. Another thing that I'll point out is you can um, click this little button here, which is a... Uh, it looks like a document with a down arrow next to it if you want to run a file so I the other way another way to run one of my uh, one of your script files is to click this button and notice uh, it's hard to tell but it's ran again if I scroll up I see the commands twice so it walked th um, through all that that whole thing just in one shot um, Another thing I'll point out is uh, it's quite possible you'll be um, inputting script files like this for your homework. Uh, one thing that's convenient for me is, um, say, between exercises, you can put in a pause command, okay? And what I'll often do is say display type any key to continue. Okay, so what will happen it'll, is it will execute these six commands and then it will write on the screen, type any key to continue, and then it will stop. And it will stop until the user hits some key. And then it will do these other commands. And I might um, put another pause here. Uh, and I can copy this. Okay, so I'll get the first six commands and a pause. Then I'll get these and a pause and then these. And if you want to make it even clearer, you can put a CLC command here. That'll clear the, the command window. And and, and this will make things actually quite clean. So I'm going to hit run here. Go back to the command window. Notice how it did just this first group of commands, A, B, C, then echoed A, B, and then stopped and said type in a key to continue. Now I'll hit those. I get the vectors and matrices and I'll hit um, the command uh, I hit a key again I'm just hitting the space bar but you can hit, any hit anything and I'll get the the plot window um, 